Hey guys, so it is Friday, so I had a toy video go up today, and I'm going to be doing a gaming live stream, and I'm going to try to keep it to just three hours so that I have time to do more packing and that kind of stuff. I also still need to get up a toy video, so I'll have to edit that after the live stream, because I didn't get anything done on Monday for my toy channel, because that was the day we got back from Whistler. So, um, yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Okay, I just basically need my Tim card and my keys and my phone. Okay, anyway, um, so I'm just going to run out and get some Tim Hortons before I start the live stream. And I'm kind of in like a little ranty mood <laughs> because of comments on my art video. Because all I was saying was how, um, is how people forget that they can make things white in their drawing or black. Like, when, you're, when it comes time to color in your character's shirt, not many people think white. They just think, they look at like what markers they have or what paints they have and they're like, oh, I'm going to make it this color. And they forget that you can use white too or leave things white. And um, it got into this like huge color debate. People are like, Billy, white is not a color. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> People started getting into like this whole like purist thing. I ended up deleting most of the comments that said white's not a color because it was just like infuriating me because it goes back to like traditional art instruction where they're like white's not a color like it's an absence of color um that kind of thing and um I say who cares like it's kind of like people who tell you to hold a pencil a certain way which is funny because I was thinking of that earlier this week and then someone's like calling me out on it on this video like who cares how you hold a pencil it's like I don't know who decide like I guess people in the past decided there has to be all these art rules and to be a proper artist you have to follow all these art rules but I think that goes against what art's all about you know it's about being creative and coming up with your own art and your own techniques and all this stuff but there's still people who feel like you know the purists who are out there they think everything has to be done in a specific way you have to follow these steps hold your pen like this blend your paints like this like you know some people are very purists and stuff like that you know, you look at a painting, you can't tell how they held their paintbrush. You just see the end result. Like, it doesn't matter. And I think terminology doesn't really matter either. Like, just make art. Like, why does it have to be this formulaic experience? It should just be something that comes naturally. And I think that's why I feel this aversion towards going to an art school. Because, like, I went to school for computer animation, and I've debated going back to school for like fine art stuff not for like a whole course but just something like maybe take a class where I go once a week and like learn how to oil paint and then maybe take a different class another time like just random little classes here and there I've I've considered that but I just like just the thought of it infuriates me on how you get forced to do things in a very specific formulaic way when that's not at all what art is about. Like, you should have the freedom to do it how you want. As long as you get to the desired end result, I feel like it doesn't matter. So I've been very, like, against that aspect of art, like, the purists out there, and I'm like, <sighs> and so that's kind of all coming out of the woodworks on today's video. So I'm like, no, please don't bring this up. Like, I feel all ranty now. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go out and get my Timmy's and start my live stream. So... Put out my room. Well, you have to stay here. You stay here, okay? I will go out and get a Tim Hortons. Dear Tim Hortons, what is this crap? What kind of a lid is this? One of these cheapy lids with the little holes in it. It doesn't have the tab you pull back. Yeah, no, it's dripping everywhere. It's getting on my chin. I had to grab a napkin. Look at that. Look at that. See that? That's where I had to wipe my chin. <laughs> anyway, I got the chili. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Okay, what you doing? <laughs> oh my god, if you guys can see this, like I'm live streaming right now. Oh my god, she was almost completely in it. <laughs> Kiki, why you do this? <laughs> I've got a baby over there and a baby over here, and I had to get up to go to the bathroom, so I put Midna on a chair, and she just sat in the chair looking herself while the live stream went on and I angled the camera down so you could see her. It was kind of funny. It was like a cat live stream. You were playing Pokemon, weren't you? More just like licking yourself. Midna used lick. It's super effective. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one actually was already pulled out. Or maybe it wasn't. No, it wasn't. 
What are you doing, baby? Oh, that reminds me! I never did find that black Copic! Kiki lost one of my markers once. I never did find it. Hopefully we find it when we move. So my stream's officially over. It's now 6 o'clock. I did the yo -Kai Watch demo and then beat the Elite Four on Pokemon. And it was nice and fun. And I kind of didn't want to end it, but kind of did. Because like I knew I, ha I know I have other stuff to get done. Plus I had just beat the Elite Four. Um, ha we had to sit through the credits. And then I battled Brendan. And there was a little bit more after that. But there's more gameplay still in the game. So it's kind of tempting to go start the next section. But um, I'm trying to be responsible and move on to other things. So yeah, next up I'm going to edit today's toy video. And then uh, after that I'll start packing. Oh my god, I did not turn on the Rode microphone when I recorded my two toy videos the other day. Normally I remember, but because I filmed my toy videos here at my desk, I forgot about it because I didn't have the switch and the light right in my face. Like, instead of being behind the camera, I'm kind of on the top of the camera. <sighs> it's fine because I record audio separately using an external microphone. The thing is, I... Like, I use the audio recorded by the camera in order to line up the other audio. So I'm going to have to guess. Like, I'm, I'm going based off this. Like, okay, here's where I'm opening the first package. So I'm going to listen to this audio track and try to match it up to the video without any other kind of, like, way of matching it up. Because normally I can look at the little waves in the sound file there, like the little peaks and stuff, and line it up that way. But um, there's nothing to go off of this time, so I'm just going to have to guess. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's try it. So, today has been one of those I don't feel much days, because one, the live stream, two, I've just been packing. Um, I'm going to be a little bit quiet because Christian went to bed earlier than usual because he works earlier than usual tomorrow. I'm going to be going to bed right away too, though. Um, so, I tackled the spare room. <laughs> it's not done yet. I've still got things like the bedding and pillows. I got the sheets packed up, but just the top. Random little things here and there. This is completely empty. I do have a few things lingering in the closet. And then the hangers. And then the top is empty. And there's a whole bunch of things all over here, ready to go. Some garbage. Then all of this also came from the spare room. So... There's quite a bit there. <laughs> then there was actually a little bit more, like this, this, and then these are my animator dolls. I think I, no, that one was done the other day. Um, and then I also have this big box. Christian said he didn't want to use it for his TV, so um, I filled it with plushies. So, <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's where we're at right now. Little babies get all rambunctious. <laughs> so anyway, that's where we're at. So kitchen is mostly done. This room's mostly done. I do want to do more of this before I leave it. Like kitchen, I've left everything because like we need some of that stuff. This I will finish up tomorrow and move on to other rooms. So yeah, because really we have Saturday and Sunday and then that's it that's it that's all baby and the movers come on monday and since christian works tomorrow he can't really help much until sunday so yeah but that's okay because it's mo like a lot of that crap is my crap anyway like in the spare room around here a lot of it's my stuff so i feel like i should be the one to pack it anyway um yeah i mean like Mentally, I'm in the mood to keep packing, but physically I'm like, no, no, I'm going to bed. Plus I did quite a bit. And while I was packing, I had Netflix going and I had uh, season one of Once Upon a Time going. The nostalgia. <laughs> it's kind of fun to go back and watch the old episodes. So yeah, because I really, really liked the first season. It might even be my favorite just because everything was so new and all the evil people were still evil. And it's like, I don't know, more fun. <laughs> anyway, um... I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Pokemon. Oh, these are going to be so awesome to open. Oh my gosh. Kiki, please. 
she wants to play with the ball. Do you pick it, ball? 